Assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. I'm Farina Siddiqui, your host for MCMN. Today, I'm here to present you with our community rockers show. It's a talk show that actually brings the community rockers who are doing an incredible job representing our community and doing uh, their absolute best to make a positive impact to the society. I'm here to present Br Brother Khalid Rashid, who is representing PC Party from Mississauga East Cooksville. He's an incredible person getting involved in the community, a family person, uh, has a beautiful family, and he is in politics for the change of it. So let's introduce Brother Khalid Rashid and let's hear what he has to say, what he has to share, and what he has to present to the community. Thank you so much for being on our show, Khalid Pai. Thank you very much, uh, Farina, for having me. I really appreciate it. So um, we will start by, um, I have given you an introduction, we will start by asking you questions about your background. Um, were you born in Canada? Were you immigrated? Or how sure, did you start sure. your life? I was uh, born in, in Pakistan, um, a city called Karachi. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents uh, are, both my parents are from uh, Pakistan. Uh, my father was born in Lahore and uh, then he migrated to Karachi because my grandfather uh, used to be in Pakistan Railways. He was a okay. director. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, in Pakistan Railways, you, you move around. So, uh, I guess uh, at a very young age, my father, uh, they, they moved to Karachi. Uh, my mother was born in Karachi as well. Uh, my maternal grandfather, uh, he was a martial major in the uh, Pakistan army. Mm -hmm. So they used to move around different places in, in Pakistan because of his postings. But uh, overall, yes, I am. I'm from Pakistan and uh, uh, I did my early education in Pakistan. Uh, I did my grade 1 to grade 10 from uh, St. Patrick's School and then grade 11 and 12 from uh, DHA College for Men. Mm -hmm. um, after doing my uh, college I, I moved to uh, Canada where I started my undergraduation and uh, I did my undergraduation from a University of Guelph okay um, and I did my BBA in honors mm -hmm, great uh, so alhamdulillah and after that I went to UK mm -hmm. I did my MBA from University of Bradford School of Management mm -hmm. and now currently I'm working for Blackberry as an enterprise account manager uh, looking after the entire Toronto region and yes, absolutely. Yeah, so uh, my wife Sophia and I, uh, actually we're going to be celebrating our 15th year wedding anniversary great, this year. Great, great. Congratulations. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, I have, mashallah, we are blessed with uh, three kids. Uh, I have uh, two daughters, Noor and Mariam, and our youngest is a son, Yusuf. I'm, I'm very proud because, um, you know, my parents live with me. So I, I'm, I'm blessed. blessed. I'm blessed in that way. Even my grandmother lives with me. Oh, so you wow. know, yeah. What an so, amazing household. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a amazing household. Every person is helping each other, right. and especially at this time, uh, my wife Sophia and, and we are blessed that you know we mm -hmm. are uh, sur around or surrounded by so many people who mm -hmm. who are there to help us and and do whatever they can in their own means. Mm -hmm. to, to make us right. successful. That's great, that's great. So you just mentioned about your career um, working for Blackberry, getting all this education and everything. What brings you to politics? Why? Why, why politics? Uh, I, I do get, get this question a lot that you know suddenly from a, a professional career to uh, politics. I, I always look at politics as, as a public service mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a people person. I, this is what my job is. That's what I do on a day-to-day basis. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love working with people. That's and great. and I just feel like now Ontario really needs uh, a fresh blood mm -hmm. or, or a fresh breath. Uh, my, my maternal grandfather moved to Canada when uh, in late 60s. When, when he came, he was a veteran. Uh, because he, he fought uh, World War II, oh. yes, and then 1965 war. So being a veteran, he was getting all the services mm -hmm. in Canada, and he was really proud about that. Mm -hmm. One thing he did was that he, he really involved himself in public services. Mm -hmm. So he used to do things here and there, volunteers and stuff like that. So I guess that's something like I got in myself as well too. Mm -hmm. When I came to Canada, uh, I was uh, I, I started uh, my my education and. In, this, in the meantime, I was doing my part-time jobs as well too. Mm -hmm. So, but I never left my 
my vision of uh, finishing my, my education and and do 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 something for for the people of, of this province it, that it was always in back of my mind that you know but for me it was like okay let's set my career first and then I will move towards uh, public service. So, um, Cleve, uh, you were um, elected as a nominated candidate, um, undisputed from your writing, and this is a great honor not only for you but for the entire community. And I'm, I'm sure your writing has uh, the the trust and confidence in you. So, how do you feel about it? Would you like to uh, share some thoughts on this? No, it's uh, it's a, such an amazing feeling. Uh, I'm so honored and privileged that you know the people or the right. Uh, People of Mississauga East Cooksville, the residents of Mississauga East Cooksville, chose me as uh, a representative to represent them uh, for PC Ontario in the upcoming election in 2018. I'm I'm really looking forward to to represent uh, the the riding and uh, gonna do my very best to make sure that the individuals uh, residents of my riding mm -hmm. uh, can have the trust in me and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do whatever I can to, to make sure that they are happy at the end of the day. I heard there were quite a few candidates uh, who were running against you and there was a lot of talk about like you know some of them were disqualified and something happened. Would you like to touch upon that? Uh, I would not. Uh, uh, I would rather talk about myself. Mm -hmm. uh, they, are my, uh, I, I re they are my elders. I respect them but I would rather now you know talk about myself and the accomplishments and what I want to do for the, the residents of my writing. Thank you so much for saying this and I, I really like this kind of political approach because like you know the positivity in today's politics is absolutely imperative. It's very crucial that our politicians focus on like you know moving things along, making the province better if you talk about only Ontario, making the province better and actually working to focus on their own uh, work for the community. So thank you so much. No. And this is what we need, right? Today, like, you know, we have so much negative going on around us. And so we need the positivity that we, we can get uh, as much as we can. Absolutely, right? absolutely. All right. So, um, Kleba, out of all the writings um, in Mississauga, and in fact, Peel, yeah. why Cooksville? Why Cooksville? So Cooksville has been my home uh, for the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. Since I came to Canada, mm -hmm. I have been living in Cooksville. Okay. And okay. I know this riding inside out because when you're living th somewhere for the past decade or so, mm -hmm. you know uh, the people of that riding. Right. You know what it's the home. ride exactly. Right. It's it's home. I, I a lot of time I, I call myself the local boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. I say that I'm the local boy of right. that riding right. uh, because you meet with different people. Mm -hmm. uh, Cooksville has such a diverse community. And uh, I, I know the, the issues that Miss Saga East Cooksville is facing as well too because I've seen it in the last 14 years mm -hmm. how things have progressed or you know what how this Cooksville writing that used to be the graph has gone from here all the way down now. Mm -hmm. So I, who better than me who lives in the writing right. and people can have uh, easily access to me as well too right. because if you are in public service you have to be accessible at every mm -hmm. time so uh, you know I, I live there people can reach out to me right so this is something that you know i i chose this writing for that reason right. so it's basically representing your own home because you have that ground level reality kind of knowledge about the issues the successes the opportunities yeah. for your own writing right? absolutely, absolutely absolutely and and my writing has a lot of small businesses as well too that you know when i go out i speak with them and i hear their concerns and i just feel like you know maybe I might be the change that they are looking for. Mm -hmm. Amazing, absolutely. So, and uh, what are some of the issues? Uh, if we talk about Ontario in general and East Cooksville in particular, what are some of the issues that bother you uh, for the for the residents or for the constituents in that riding uh, that that made you make this decision to run? So, number one, um, it's hydro. I, I I pay hydro. Yes. I, and I see that how the pricing is fluctuating like from here it went up like skyrocketing right. it's 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 unbelievable and I and I when I meet with different people I I hear them they're like Khalid hydro pricing is going crazy high like you know we can't even afford like do we pay rent we pay hydro 
our taxes are like through the roof uh, you know we need better school systems so that's why I'm like you know I, I want to be an individual who is approachable and uh, people of my writing can come and talk to me and whatever I can do to help them at the end of the day uh, and if you just sit back and, and complain then you won't be able to achieve mm -hmm. so for me it was like do I sit back and complain about all what's happening in, in my province that I love mm -hmm. or do I need to come out and do something mm -hmm. and uh, you know our leader Patrick Brown such an amazing person um, I had I had the honor to to meet with him a couple of times uh, his message of inclusiveness is, is something that our community was looking for uh, and I think that message was very clear and uh, everybody heard that and one thing that I like about him is that when he says that regardless of what your color of your skin is your background you have space in our party mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and that is a, a, such a motivation uh, for individuals like me to say you know what yes uh, we're gonna work together and we're gonna bring that change in this province mm -hmm. yeah. So your writing has some of the areas that were highlighted as priority neighborhoods. So a lot of people in those areas living below the poverty line and like, you know, homelessness is up to that level there that is concerning. So would you like to touch upon that when you're into uh, the office? How would you actually plan to work on those things to resolve those issues for your writing? Absolutely. So I, I think the most important thing is jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I see the people living and my writing actually has a lot of high rises as well too. So you know, they, a lot of people, uh, they are struggling. People, I, I know one person uh, from, uh, from a, a Tamil community that a very good friend of mine uh, and he basically do like three, four jobs mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he hardly has time for his family. Right. Uh, how unfortunate it is that you know, you're living in such an amazing province and to make your ends meet, you're doing like three, three or four right. jobs. Right. So we really need to work on that, see what we can do in order to make their life easy. Um, when you say about poverty, yes, it comes down to jobs mm -hmm. and uh, I, I also believe that you know taxes play a, a huge important role okay. so at the end of the day if you are not able to save money uh, at the end of the month mm -hmm. uh, you're basically you living paycheck bills. to paycheck and exactly. you're living like you won't be able to pay bills etc right. Right. so definitely there are some ideas in my mind that uh, you know once selected mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to have a discussion with, mm -hmm. with our leader Patrick Brown that's great. That's a very ambitious, like, you know, and I hear that you have that power in you to make the change happen. It's so uh, good to hear that. Absolutely. This province has so much to offer that if you really look inside, you can find so many opportunities. I love this province and, uh, you know, I really want this province to succeed. I, would, I really would like people of this province, people of my writing, of Misaga East Cooksville to succeed. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I just feel like that, you know, this, this um, amazing province uh, has uh, a lot and we just have to explore it mm -hmm. and make sure that uh, people of uh, Misaga East Cooksville can also uh, join hands with me to, to explore the positivity in, in this province. Mm -hmm. and, and that's my goal and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to making this goal a reality. Mm -hmm. That's great. So thank you so much for uh, being on our show and it was wonderful talking to you Khalid Bhai. Uh, before we um, finish this wonderful conversation yeah. with you, would you like to give a message to our audience, any message that you would like to give to people who are watching this uh -huh. talk show? Well, absolutely. Uh, so my message to the people of, uh, of this province as well as uh, the people of, of my writing is that it is time for change. Um, as I said earlier, we can sit back and, and complain or can be part of this change. I am, I am one of those individuals who would like to be part of this change and that's why I've decided to come into public service. 
Otherwise, I, I, I have a wonderful job. I could have been sitting at home. And, but you know what? It, it, enough is enough. Uh, things are getting out of control. And now it is time for us to take control of things. And uh, I'm really, really positive and optimistic that under the leadership of uh, Patrick Brown, uh, a leader who, who I really admire, uh, we're going to make this province a better place uh, to live. A province that, as I always say, I love so much. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate you coming and spending time with us. And I hope to see you doing exactly the kind of work that you're aiming for. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, so with this um, talk show, uh, we will keep highlighting uh, more community rockers. And I'm your host, Farina Siddiqui. See you next time.